you know, the Fed wanted inflation. They needed inflation. Yeah. But is it complete? Have they lost control here? You, know, you made the point they want inflation, they need inflation. What they really need, Daniela, is negative real interest rates. So if you look at the US, they've got 30 trillion of debt. They took in 3 trillion of revenue as a government uh, in 2019 before the pandemic, and they were spending 4 trillion. So before all hell broke loose with COVID, they were running a $1 trillion a year deficit. Now you have lowered capacity to make money and much higher expenses. So your deficits are going to be structurally higher for longer. The only way to finance that kind of deficit is negative real rates. So negative rates are pick a number of 4% right now in the US or 3%. That's a free trillion dollar a year carry because your, your inflation is running harder than your rates. That allows you to fund systematically a trillion or $2 trillion a year of deficits forever. If real rates were to go positive, you'd have a huge fiscal correction in the US coming both on the government level and the market level. So you're right, they need real negative rates. So if rates are zero, they need inflation to be five. If rates are four, they need inflation to be nine. That's, that's the math that they need. It's hard math, it's not made up numbers, it's real math to sustain their unsustainable spending, unsustainable debt levels in the US. That's, right. that's the fly in the wall you're not hearing from them. That, that shows you how trapped the government is. So when Barack Obama took office, don't quote me on this, but it was around $10 trillion of debt, you know, a short, 12 to 13 years later, we have 30 trillion of debt in the US. We've tripled the debt in 12 years. So what that means is you could basically afford a third of the interest expense that you could afford 13 years ago. We could barely afford the interest expense on the debt when Barack Obama was in office. So again, that, that comes down to my point earlier. They need real negative rates. They need rates to be lower than inflation to sustain this unsustainable level of debt. And the problem with debt, Daniela, is it's fixed. You cannot get rid of it. You can't just wave a magic wand and make it go away. So that the more debt you pile on, the lower the interest rate is that you can afford structurally on your debt in the long term. So that's why the Fed has done nothing while they've seen inflation run hot. That's why they will likely do a lot less or nothing that they have to in the future because they can't afford the rates to rise. And that, that's the same. Unfortunately, that's true for Europe. It's true for Canada. It's true for all the major economies. It's true for Japan. It's across the board, uh, this massive debt load that's suppressing rates and suppressing uh, banks' ability to, to have a normal economy, a normally functioning market as well.